Aloha, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Super excited to have you here. So today I'm going to talk about backup. So when we take down a multifamily building, we have backups for our backups. We have contingency plans all written into our contracts. We have them written into our underwriting. We have them so down deep within us that if even if everything were to go to downhill, even if all those contingency plans went downhill, we still would have each other. We would still have our brains. And not for nothing, we have done more than 12 multifamily syndications within our let's say multifamily career, not only mentioning, not even to mention our single family and wholesaling business that we used to have. And then Jason's years of, of being in his family construction build, uh, construction company. So we have massive amounts of backup just within ourselves. So you're asking me, Peely, why am I telling you this? Well, as a new investor, you don't have the same backup that we that we do. But the thing is, you do have your mind and you do have the people that you surround yourself with. I know I've talked to you about this before, but the people that you surround yourself with is key. Those people that you meet on Facebook, those people that you meet on Clubhouse, make sure those people that you're surrounding yourself with, those are the people that you can go to when things aren't right, when things go wrong, and even when things do go right, people that you can celebrate with. So Jason and I have had the honor of surrounding ourselves with the people from Seven Figure Flipping, and that's how we created Seven Figure Multifound. We brought our coaching know-how, our knowledge, and combined it with the amazingness of Seven Figure Flipping, which was our mastermind that we went to when we needed to surround ourselves with people that were doing bigger, better things than we were. So now we are able with some bigger multifamily to take that to the next step, to take the experience of becoming a multifamily investor to the next level. So how are you surrounding yourself with the best people? I know every time I go on Clubhouse, I make sure I promote positivity. I make sure I give value. Every time I go on Facebook, I try to promote positivity and I try and give value. Anytime I talk to someone, anytime I walk into a room, if I can't walk into that room with all the aloha and all the energy that I can give, I shouldn't walk into that room. I shouldn't be using up people's time just to get and to take. I always try and come from a place of giving. So how do you walk into a room? Do you walk into a room expecting the room to just look at you? Well, how are they going to do that? How they do that is if you exude the confidence, the responsibility, the know-how, just Anything you can do to get yourself to that next level and how you do that is by surrounding yourself with those people that can help you up-level your life, not only professionally. Yes, Jason and I can talk circles around multifamily business. I can like mindset you to, to the next level, but it's all on you too. It's do you want this? Do you want to walk into that room and exude that confidence? Do you want to walk into that room with the know-how? And how do you get those things? Again, what is it? It's by getting that backup. It's by having those people that you know you can go to. Yes, Jason, I know what we're talking about, but even we have moments where we're just like, we have this thing that's happening and we need help. So we go to our network and we ask our friends. And if none of our friends can help us, we have friends that know friends. We have friends that can take us to those people that can solve our problems. Are you surrounding yourself with those types of people? Those types of people that can open the doors for you, not people that close the doors in your face, not people that you go to them and all of a sudden it's just like, oh, no, I don't. I can't. I won't. People that will open the door and show you the way, or even if they don't have the knowledge, will open the door or have someone else help them open the door for you. 
So how are you opening the door for yourself? What is it again? Yes, surround yourself with those people that can back you up, that can help you along your way, that can take you to that next level or help you to take yourself to the next level. Because as we all know, we have a responsibility to ourselves to level up ourselves. No one else is going to do it. No one else is really going to hold you accountable for you. The only person that can do that is you. So hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable to bringing those people into your life. Hold yourself accountable by measuring those people that are around you. And I'm not saying in, in a, like, I don't know, number sense, but make sure that those people that you put around you aren't bringing you down. And if you do have those friends that are, reach out to them. Maybe you're the person in their life that's supposed to help them up. But remember, don't let people bring you down. You have that responsibility to yourself to keep yourself up. If you are helping somebody out of a dark place, remember, remember that they have to have that responsibility for themselves. Only you can, you can point at the light. You can show them the door. You can do whatever it is. You can be their backup. You can be the person, you've heard me talk about this before, Gratitude 10. Anytime I'm in a bad place, I text to my friends, Gratitude 10, and they come back to me with things that they're grateful for. And that is how they help me. I don't expect them to, and I don't expect them to come knock on my door and lift me up and put me on their shoulders, but that's how they back me up. So how do your friends back you up? How do your coaches back you up? How does, how does your social media presence back you up? Those friends that you talk to all the time on social, how do they back you up? Do they back you up with positivity or negativity? And how are you showing up in those places? Are you really showing up as your best self? Or are you digging into the negativity that we know is in the world? I know, even though I come off as someone that is all sunshine and rainbows, because that is what I believe in. I love that sunshine and I love those rainbows. But I know that there's darkness. Doesn't mean that we need to promote it. We need to understand it. We need to look it in the eye and say, you are not going to bring me down today. Not today. So how are you doing that for yourself? By having backup. So that is my podcast to you for the day. What is your backup? What is your backup plan? Who are you leaning on? Who are you making sure that you're surrounding yourself with so that you can take you, your family, your friends, your world, you could uplift it, the whole thing. How are you uplifting yourself by surrounding yourself with the best people? Have an amazing day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. If there's anything I can do to help you, please tap on the link below, Seven Figure Multifamily. Anything at all, just tap on that link and please rate, review, and subscribe. That would mean the world to me and Jason. Remember, you are amazing, but you got to know that. So much aloha.